During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. We still have 35% of our belongings in storage and this, you can't really see in there, this is where they are. This is the buyer that you've heard us talking about. Everything over here is junk and needs removing, tipping, etc. And then all these bits here, all this, still our stuff. It's been in here now for six weeks and it needs to come out. It's quite dry in here, but it's still humid in the air. But this, the whole idea for this place is it's going to be turned uh, into a workshop come studio because we're actually antique dealers. And uh, this space is going to come in really handy. Jeez.
Scott and I are antiques restorers, having been in that line of work for many years, which means we're both jacks of all trades. We've always been sentimental about old things and moving to this island with the tasks we have ahead of us is no different. We want to make this old cottage sure again and give it a new lease of life so it lasts the passage of time. We have a love of history and Scotland is certainly rich with that. Moving here in multiple trips by vehicles, boats, legs and wheelbarrows was and continues to be a heavy task and we're certainly fitter than we were even after so short a time. It was also an expensive process and being the sort of people who don't borrow from banks, when we had the chance to move, some of our family and dear faraway friends helped in giving us the means to get here. A kindness which we'll never forget and a rare act. Could you tell everybody why it is that you do all the work? <laughs> Scott's busy editing. What else am I busy doing? Lifting stuff, chopping stuff, chainsawing stuff. We downsized dramatically to move here, and the move for us was long awaited. We had suffered many years of hardships of one kind or another, which we now see moulded us into the people we are. This island is nothing but a blessing, and we believe we have the fortitude to face the winters, the weather, the restoration, the droughts we're told may come. 
We have a private water supply to the cottage from an as yet unknown source on the island and there's a water filter installed to make it safer to use. We also have barrels to collect rainwater from the roof, which the sheep enjoy drinking from, but we may need to use them in time too as our cisterns could run dry. Hot water is from our wood-fired stove in the kitchen which feeds into a storage tank. At the moment that stove is our sole source of heat, but before winter we'll look to reinstating both fireplaces in the old part of the cottage. What? She's buying because it's treat time. Here. This route up the hill to the top of the island was the old trackway which led from the other side of the island all the way down to the house, which is down that way. The things you find, it's obviously been left up here by previous occupants. very old wall and remnants of an old deer fence I would think. This is what I just found up on that old pathway. It's an old Victorian wine bottle. It's incredible when you think how long that's been up there, buried underneath all those leaves and the moss. It's got some kind of plant life in it, probably a fern or something growing in there. Sorry about it, keep going out of focus. There's the uh, very deep pontal mark in there. They did that obviously to rip the customers off. Some people say it was to help pour it, whatever, but yeah, whatever. There's the rim. But yeah, I'm happy with that. It's a nice little find. Scottish, late 19th century. Thank you very much.
We live here full time and will continue to while we do the restoration to the cottage. It's going to be a messy, room at a time type of job, but we're happy it's not a big footprint to take on, so we hope to make quick enough progress, even though every room needs something doing. We want to make these videos to be wholesome and peaceful for others, maybe a bit of respite from a tired old world that speaks to the soul, to share our quiet, old-fashioned way of life. Okay, and the major demolition work and challenges to come. We hope you enjoy this beautiful place along with us, and we sincerely thank you for watching, because by doing so, you make our lives and our ongoing work here possible. <laughs>